Relevance AI tutorial and review, how to build your own AI agents. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with agent building on Relevance AI. Now we know so many popular platforms are now offering you API support and you can build your own custom agents, but Relevance AI is a platform that can do that for you in a very simplified, no code way. So let's jump right in. To get started, simply head on over to Relevance AI and then click on try for free. Once you click on try for free, you're going to sign up on Relevance AI. You can choose Google or your email address to sign on and we're just going to be proceeding with Google for a quick and easy sign up on Relevance AI. Now, once I have signed on onto Relevance AI, the next step is going to be to head on over into our Relevance AI dashboard. So after a few seconds, it's going to complete its basic sign up and you're going to provide your basic information. Then you're going to name your company as well as your size, your sale, your basic role and your goal. So I want to build agents and I want to build non-technical agents. After that, we're going to click on continue. Now, if you want to directly summon the AI support agent, you can directly click on command K and this is going to summon their agent. So we're going to click on continue over here and we're going to proceed. Now, once we do that, you guys can see this is a very straightforward platform. Starting off, you're going to describe what you wanted to do. Now, for me personally, I want to build an agent that is going to serve as a communication tool for my potential customers. So, or I want my agent to communicate with my customers that visit my website and suggest services and items to them and then below that they do have some suggested outputs that you can select from so i'm going to click on continue and then i'm going to choose when should your agent start working so i can add the first trigger for my agent and you guys can see that there is a section called all triggers and you can select your specific trigger but if you want you can skip this step for now because this would be more relevant to me when my agent is deployed now from here you're going to drag and drop your files this includes your company files business information you you can import this from your website so you can directly copy and paste your website url and it will extract all of the information it needs or you can just write some text so if there are basic policies your basic services all of that can be added over here once you do that you're going to move on to the next step and what tools will your agent need so i'm going to go ahead and let's say i want it to go into communication and i do want it to get emails i want it to maybe save drive draft reply to Gmail, send emails via Gmail. I also wanted to maybe get latest Gmail from a sender or so on and so forth. Then when it comes to CRM, I might want it to link it to HubSpot or my calendar, whatever you prefer. However, you are going to be building your particular agent. For me, I do want it to be a communication based agent. So I'm just going to connect with Gmail. Now on the left, it is now inventing and building our agent. So it is preparing my request for the inventor to start building my agent. You guys can see they have this really nice and simple interface that you can work with. And this is what I really like about using relevant AI. So from here, it has asked me the question of what type of items do you offer on your website and what type of general questions? Do you want the agent to answer general questions or only suggest products and services? I want it to answer both general questions and suggest products slash services as suggestions. I offer makeup products such makeup products and makeup services including bridal makeup party makeup from here it's going to analyze my message and it is going to ask you some follow-up questions so you can leave it be and sometimes you can even give it the prompt to ask you any follow-up questions that it finds to be necessary so again it's going to take a little bit of time to process your request to analyze and understand what exactly it should be building for you and I'm going to wait a couple of seconds for this to completely create and build with our inventor. And now once we do that, we can move on towards our next step. 
And in the meanwhile, you can even play around with their building screen. So right now it has created my agent. So the AI agent license is Bella, the beauty advisor, date of issue, the region, and then I'm going to accept all of the suggestions. From here, I do need to set this up manually or connect to my Google account. So I'm going to click on add account on the right and then click on add account. And then I'm going to have to connect our account so it is able to send out emails and connect with the AI agent on my behalf. This is really important, especially when you're building a communication based agent. So we're going to log on and this is our agent till now we're going to discard any of these changes so you guys can see this is our current agent which we have built now from here you can choose an ai model where different models have different pricings for your agent use so you can choose the model you can see cost optimized models you can see performance optimized ones you can see all of the different options including gpt cloud as well as uh, the azure deployment you have balanced as well as cost optimized so you can pick out whatever is the best for you now on top I can name my agent as well as give it a short description and choose to run it on my specific model. From here, I can click on invent to uh, further optimize this or directly click on run to run my model. So now I have my agent and I can ask it whatever query I want. Once I am satisfied and you know my agent is all right, I can click on save changes on the top right. And once I save my agent, I can choose to deploy it. Again, depending on how complicated your agent is and what type of performance-based task it is performing, you do want to choose the model accordingly because if you're running a really highly optimized model with a really expensive performance optimized platform like GPT 4.1 or you're using a Sonnet, the latest model of Sonnet, it's going to be very cost ineffective. So to make it cost effective, I always do recommend opting for a higher model when you're testing it out. And then after that, you're going to proceed with a lower tier model, test it out. And if it works just as well, you can opt for that. This advice is only for things such as, you know, non-performance based models where they're not doing a lot of tech technical integrations. However, if your particular AI agent is doing a lot of technical things, then you ideally want to build something that is performance based. And just like that, you can get started. Now you can click on workforce and build your own workforce with multiple different AI agents. However, this is limited to the premium plans. So if you're getting started for free, you get 100 credits a day with one user. The pro plan has 10,000 credits a month with your own workforce that you can build. And the team starts at $179 per month, which includes priority support and premium integrations. So you can build AI agents for LinkedIn, WhatsApp, and many other platforms and the business plan at 539 which includes 300,000 credits every month with unlimited users activity centers and you can add your own knowledge worth 5 gigabytes with a dedicated slack channel and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video